Hey viewers, welcome back to our series on HIV and AIDS. We left off last time with a positive diagnosis of HIV and we jumped straight into counseling. Now counseling is only part of the treatment and there is medication involved. Let's turn to Dr. Glory of the Asha Foundation for more on this. So doctor, first of all, why should someone start on medication? Medication has made a world of difference to the lives of HIV positive patients. Uh, till about 2004, this medication was not easily available in India, but now it is and it's made a huge difference. Um, the, anti, the medication for HIV AIDS actually is referred to as antiretroviral therapy or ART. And we don't give a single drug for HIV. We have to give a minimum of three drugs. The important thing is that when we start a patient on ART, the treatment has to be lifelong the patient has to be almost 100% adherent and he should stick to the timings. Now when do we start a patient on ART? We follow certain guidelines for this. So if a patient has a CD4 count of 350 or below 350, then he's definitely a candidate for treatment. However, if the CD4 is between 350 and 500, then we can make a decision about whether the patient needs to be on treatment or not based on the financial situation of the patient. And you know, please remember this is lifelong treatment. So many of them would like to delay treatment till it's really essential. The other important thing to know is that there are several ART centers in India where the government provides treatment free of cost. So patients can make use of these facilities. And then um, non-governmental organizations like ours also provide treatment free or subsidized. And then we have the private practitioners who are, uh, who are qualified in treating HIV AIDS, the HIV AIDS specialists, who also provide treatment where the patient, if he can afford it, then he pays for the medication. Okay. Now, ART just sounds like a whole lot of pills. What about side effects? How do you handle side effects? First, coming to the pills. Uh, India was responsible for this, actually, for the production of what we call fixed dose combinations. Okay. So we can have three drugs in one tablet. So a patient just has to take one tablet a day, maybe at bedtime, or maybe maximum two tablets a day for HIV infection. So that's a huge difference. It helps in compliance. The second thing is that uh, regarding immediate side effects, there are very few. You know, maybe about 10% of patients who are, a, uh, who are on ART could have side effects. The long-term side effects are many. We have to watch out for a rise in their uh, cholesterol levels or their uh, lipid profile. We have to monitor that. We have to monitor their um, heart condition. But um, we just have to follow them up on those things. But we have patients who have been living with us now for 15, 25, 20 years after starting treatment. And this treatment has made a world of difference. Patients have put on weight, have become normal again, got reintegrated into society, even if their CD4 counts have been very low. But at the same time, I would like to emphasize that there is no cure for HIV AIDS. There is only control. So we can control the disease if a patient takes treatment regularly and comes for follow-up regularly. This is similar to diabetes, hypertension, where there is no cure, but the disease can be kept under control with treatment. So we now refer to HIV AIDS as a chronic manageable illness rather than as a life-threatening disease. Great, thank you, doctor. I hope that helps break down some understanding around managing medicines. If you have more questions, we have another episode coming up that will answer all of those. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon.